All right, one more free Wii lesson for you for when the battle's over. Lesson three. Here's what we'll have after lesson three. I know, that last C is really short, isn't it? <laughs> so lesson three, it, it's not a lot of new material here, but, but the end of line one is just so busy, I just thought we need, a, we need to tackle that in a separate lesson altogether. So that's the end of line one, and that's a lot to tackle. So that's gonna be in lesson four. Uh, the link's below to access lesson four, as well as all the other lessons of the Win the Battles Over workshop and the sheet music and all that. And, and Green Hills and, and all my other tune workshops you can find with that link below as well. Uh, Green Hills of Tyrol is really commonly played before when the battle's over. But here we have just a short little easy, easy lesson for you because there's quite a bit of repeat. We started out lesson one if you remember. Remember that from lesson one? Well lesson three, we're on the low A already so no introductory note. We ended off lesson two on low A. Right, so we're already on low A. From that low A, we're gonna do that same G grace note on the low A up to B, then the grip up to C. So that's all the same as lesson one. If you're doing no embellishments, you should still stick that G grace note. So even if you're doing no embellishments, at the start of lesson three, so that's the start of bar three in line one, circle that G grace note, because you'll wanna do that G grace note even if you're not doing embellishments because we have two low A's in a row and we need to separate them with something. So stick that big fat G grace note in there um, and it's not a hard one to do because you're not transitioning to other notes, you're just lifting that top finger up and down. So here's what it would sound like without embellishments but with that G grace note in there from the start of the line. So you hear that G grace note to separate those notes. Uh, and then continuing on without embellishments, we'll add embellishments in in a moment. Really, we've, we've done our G grace note, even for the non-embellishment version. We have the B, the C. Instead of going up to high A here, we're going up to E. C to E transition. Hopefully that's getting a little bit more comfortable now. The bottom hand is going to drop down to that low A position, middle two fingers are down. Top hand lifts up the ring finger. And that's the note transition there. And then we're going to hop back to that C. Just and That next C is just really short before we get into that little bit of a complicated ending of the line. So just that transition down to C. Down to C. And that C, we're not there very long. So here's the non-embellished version, uh, lesson three, and then lessons one, two, and three all together. So here's lesson three, non-embellished version. One more time. And lesson one, two, and three without embellishments, and then we'll, we'll talk with embellishments. That's no embellishments, and with embellishments, going back to our lesson three chunk with embellishments, we just need to talk about that E doubling. And we haven't done an E doubling yet, so it's good to break down. So that's the E doubling. So E doubling, we're on the C. Our first movement is gonna be lifting up that G grace note finger transitioning down to the low A on the bottom hand, lift up the ring finger on the top hand before bringing that top finger down. That's be the first half of the doubling. And for those of you at home making connections, that's, that's the same as a G grace note from C to E. But to make it a doubling, we need to add that second grace note, which is the middle finger up and down of the top hand. 
So that'd be the second half of the, the doubling. So all together. And a little bit quicker. And then after that doubling, we go to that C. It's a short C before we get into the ending of the line. So here's that lesson three chunk with embellishments. And then I'll do lessons one, two, and three with embellishments. And then we'll just we'll just highlight again, kind of review where those downbeats are going to be. Lesson three. A little bit slower. One more time. And lesson one, two, and three all together. And that's one, two, and three all together. Let's try talk a little bit about those downbeats. We've done lesson lesson one downbeats. Da 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 da. We've done lesson two downbeats. Da 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 da. Lesson three. A that first low A in lesson three gets a downbeat, so we're on bar three of line one. A B C C gets a downbeat just like in bar um, bar one. Bar three is the same as bar one at the start but now we go to the e and that e is going to get a downbeat a b c e c b and then we're into the next line so that's kind of where so if you're keeping track at home that low a in the third bar that c and that e are all going to get that that downbeat and let's just play through Line one, I'm going to include that, that tricky ending that we'll be getting to in lesson four. And lesson four looks really big if you're checking out the sheet music, but don't worry, there's a lot of review in that second line. So really lesson four, we're just, the new material is the ending of lesson one and the ending of lesson two. So you can do lesson four, I know you can. Can't wait to see you in the When the Battle's Over workshop. And thanks again for joining me and till next time, keep on piping on.